Now that we've seen how to fix plosives or P-pops using EQ, we're going to take a look at how we can prevent or fix another common problem when recording vocals, saliva noises. So last time we talked about how to use an effect called EQ, short for equalization, to fix plosives or P-pops in vocal recordings. Today we're going to talk about fixing saliva noises those sounds that happen when you have too much sticky spit and saliva under your tongue and around in your mouth. As with most things with audio, or just most things in general, it's better to prevent problems than to fix them if possible. And here are some ways that you can prevent saliva noise from getting recorded at all. For me, eating some tart apples works, along with drinking some water. Most of the advice you see around the web is drinking water. But experiment with other things. Some people swear by tea. Some people swear by beer. So uh, whatever works for you, try that and see if you can use it to prevent the saliva clicks from getting into your vocal recordings. But if and when they do get recorded, just like with editing out the P-pops in the last lesson, it will be EQ to the rescue. Here's an example of some audio I recorded that had a very loud saliva click in it, and I was not able to prevent it, obviously, so I'm going to edit it out and show you how to use EQ to do that. Let's take a listen to what we've got first. Though I usually record all my audio in Reaper, okay, so right in here, audio. Wow, that's pretty loud. Now I know that the saliva click noises reside in a frequency much different from the plosives. The P-pops were down in the low frequencies and the saliva clicks are in the high frequencies. So first, let me zoom in to the selection that had all of the awful audio. Yeah, it's gonna be right in here. Audio. Then let's go look at the equalizer effect and equalization EQ. Now I know from experience that most saliva clicks can be reduced by starting at 5 kilohertz. By the way, I click the graphic EQ button here to load the graphic EQ, which gives you the little sliders for each band. And we're going to start at 5 kilohertz, and let's drop that by about 12 decibels. And then let's go to 6.3 kilohertz and go down to about 15. And then we're going to take the next three bands all the way up to 12.5 and just pull them all the way down to negative 20. So we're going to scoop out these high frequencies right here and then just click OK. Now let's take a listen. My audio in Reaper. Pretty amazing, huh? That got rid of the saliva clicks. The problem, however, you might have noticed that the audio that was treated was all of this audio in, and reducing those higher frequencies actually kind of muffled all of that audio here. Poured all my audio in Reaper, and we'd rather not affect all the audio that doesn't actually have a saliva click in it. So I'm gonna undo that audio in Reaper, and we're going to try to zero in on areas of the voice that just have the saliva click in it. In, well, first of all, you can hear that it isn't in the word in at all, so we can exclude that entirely. Audio in, audio in, audio. Okay, there isn't a whole lot in the first part of the word audio either. So we can focus just on audio in this area here. Audio in. And I think there's a couple of actual saliva clicks. So let's see if we can narrow it down. Audio. Audio. Yeah, it sounds like there's one in there. So we're going to go to effect, equalization. And since we're going to be applying this effect, multiple times throughout our audio, assuming we're having a bad spit day. It doesn't make sense to keep going through and dragging these down every single time. So let's do it one more time here, just so that we can save it as its own curve. 
and that way at least we won't have to drag these down again. So you go to Save Manage Curves, and where it says Unnamed, you just go to Rename and type Saliva Click in there, and click OK, and click OK again. And now, instead of having to pull down all of those sliders, the next time we use the equalizer, just come in here and go to Select Curve and select Saliva Click, and it does it for us. And click OK. Audio in. OK, so we got rid of a click that was in this section, but there are other clicks we want to get rid of. Now it would be really cool if you could just save this preset as a keyboard shortcut, but you can't save custom presets in Audacity. What you can do is repeat the last effect by clicking Control R on your keyboard. So we know that our next saliva click is there. So if I click Control R, that takes care of it. And then if you find one down here and down here, instead of having to go to Effect, and load our curve, you can just hit Control R and reduce the saliva clicks all the way across your audio. So let's have a little before and after to see how effective this whole thing is. Save Manage Curves, Saliva Click, and the next one is there. So all we have to do is Control R to repeat our last command audio in Reaper, and we've cleaned up our saliva clicks just that quickly before audio in Reaper, after audio in Reaper. So if you just can't seem to get the saliva clicks out of your voice, here is one way to do it using Audacity.